Ghana has lost its status as Africa's best ranked country in the World Press Freedom Index. A group of investigative journalists had to spend part of 2018 in hiding after producing a documentary about Ghanaian soccer corruption. A ruling party parliamentarian who has been named in the documentary publicly threatened one of the journalists without ever being sanctioned. The journalist was shot dead in the streets a few months later. Journalists are rarely arrested, but several journalists in Ghana were attacked with impunity in 2018, in some cases by police officers. Although Ghana continues to be seen as one of the most democratic countries in Africa, and Chapter 12 of the 1992 Constitution guarantees media pluralism and independence, a third of the media are owned by the state or by businessmen linked to government. This is what Reporters Without Border says about Ghana. It is sad that today, as we speak and celebrate World Radio Day, we are still seeing the closure of radio stations for over two years now that are deemed to be pro-opposition. You have radio stations like Radio Gold, Muntier, Radio XYZ, and others, 131. In fact, the last closure that was done was about 10 days ago. The NCA shut down a radio station 10 days ago, citing Article 164 of the Constitution, citing national security. This is the first time in the Fourth Republic that the NCA is shutting down a radio station citing national security as a concern. Reason being, this radio station is in the Volta region and is critical of government, and the NCA deems that to be a national security threat and shuts down that radio station. This is the kind of draconian uh, uh, regime we're living under in the country today, and we cannot accept this.